This is video footage from 10 years ago. At that time, Rao Liangzhi was always busy fetching water. In the oil-rich Yanchi County in eastern Ningxia, water was once more expensive than oil. In 2018, the renovation of Asia's biggest rural water supply project was completed here, allowing Rao Liangzhi to enjoy tap water at home. With the consolidation and improvement of rural drinking water safety projects, China has guaranteed the safety of drinking water for nearly 29 million impoverished residents and ensured an adequate supply of quality drinking water for 382 million rural residents. Soga Lake stands more than 4,000 meters above sea level in Lunzhe County, Shan'an City, Tibet Autonomous Region. Nawang Shylock has lived here with his parents, helping them with grazing and patrols since childhood. His family are the only long-term residents within a 40-kilometer radius. Even in this remote area, he can still enjoy electricity, TV, and network services at home. On December 23, 2015, the last remote group of 9,614 households, or 39,800 people, was connected to the national grid. When 1.1 billion people around the world were living without electricity, China managed to achieve full access to it. Water, electricity, and road infrastructure have improved the lives of rural residents while the fast-growing information network has made their world bigger. By the end of 2021, all the administrative villages in China had gained broadband access, all the towns and villages had built post offices, and all the incorporated villages had established direct postal services. Having access to these basic necessities has opened a path to better development. Endowed with quality pastoral resources, Hong Yuan is moving toward high quality modern husbandry with standardized and large scale yak breeding and milk production. In Jinwashan Jino ethnic township in Yunnan province, locals lead a better life as the thriving tea industry has boosted the revenue of more than 1,800 households.